Hello everybody, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Monster Sanctuary, shall we? Alright, so we got a double jump. We're in the blue caves. Let's see what we got. Alright, this is like a deadly wall, but... Oh, maybe we can... Alright, let's see if uh, Rock Guy can do this for us. Alright, so I'm like... That didn't work. Here. Um, but interestingly, that doesn't seem to to do it. If I stand on it, this moves. But Rock Guy doesn't have anything to do with it. So, um... Activates ground switches. That doesn't... That doesn't activate a ground switch. Um... Breaks hidden walls. No. Uh, moves heavy blocks. Nope. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, even when I do stand on it, it doesn't look like anything's happening. So I, there's just some kind of ability that I need that I, I don't feel that I have. What do we got? A level badge. Increases monster level by one. Can be used on monsters that are at least two levels below your highest monster. Oh, that's kind of fun. Help you catch up and level up an, a monster. Oh, actually, I want to say that uh, one of my friends on YouTube was telling me that... It might have been Dragon who was telling me that you can go into the options and you can change the speed of the combat... And that if you do, that it helps you uh, beat the enemies, beat the enemies faster, and get higher ratings. What a strange door! Feels a bit ominous to be standing right in front of it, does it? My instincts tell me that there are some dangerous monsters lurking behind that door. Judging by those sockets around the door, it seems like we need five particular round objects to open it. We're still just at the beginning of our journey. I have a feeling we'll come back here. And open this door eventually. Don't worry. I'll be there with you to brave the unknown. Alright. Well, fair enough. So, if I look at the map, then... Ah, right. There's lots of places that we can go now because we have the double jump. Oh, looks like uh, Yaoi can level up. Alright, Yaoi. What were we doing with you? Oh, right. Yeah, we were like... Working on Yowie's tanky stuff. Oh man, getting around with the double jump feels like an absolute dream. Alright, and now we can do stuff. Amazing stuff. Now I could go back and uh, upgrade my stuff a little bit, but I want to see if there's just any free, yeah, like this, free treasures. Uh, speaking of upgrading, look at all this. Just a whole bunch of upgrade material ready for us. Beautiful. Uh, we don't have a key. Okay. So let's see if we can uh, get one. We can just jump over these clowns. I don't know if that's the wisest thing. Let's see. It's like mushrooms and... I mean, we could fight them. Let's test this out. So, mushroom does not like fire. And we have fire. And they also don't like earth. And we have earth as well. So, let's start. Alright. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, let's see. So... Let's go ahead and focus on hurting the mushroom in the front. Oh yeah, there's the combat speed going up. Much better. And then, I think, honestly, if I uh, put this on this guy, then fireball, yep, will kill you. 
terrific. I can't even imagine what this would be like at three times speed, but the way that this game is folding out, it looks like you're going to actually need that. And what I mean is the game looks like it's pretty grindy. Oh no! Okay, shoot, we got a crit. Get him. Yeah, I don't think... It says combat duration, but it's number of turns taken. It's not um, time seconds-wise. So speeding it up doesn't help with that, but it does help with just making the battle go faster. And that's pretty great. Oh, and so is getting skill points with all of our people. Now that's really great. All right, so let's go check it out. What do we want to level up? I think improving our magic rating is always a good thing. Oh, we already got that one. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's right. I already got that too. Uh, gives us more mana. This helps us do more damage with this attack. You know, we still do use claws, and so I think leveling this up is fine. Alright. Improve mana, improve attack, improve health. Let's go ahead and level up just the base damage of the spell. Alright, cool. Well, that was totally worth doing that battle then. Alright, let's jump up. We're looking for secret doors. Ooh. Interesting. If we had some kind of like ghost enemy, it could float through that maybe. Uh-huh. Sustain ring plus two. Very good. And here's that key that we were looking for. Tremendous. If I could add one thing to the game. Just one. It would be... Um, I'm going to make sure I got whatever was over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's where I got double jump. If I could have one thing, it would be the ability to map, like, mark things on the map so I could, like, put an indicator, hey, there's a locked door here to use your key on, or hey, here's a treasure you couldn't get. Stuff like that. Notes. Okay. Um, I love map notes. Alright, they're weak to earth, earth, and fire. Alright, so maybe then we can choose monsters. We always have Leia, and then we go to Tengu. But then we could do um, Rocky and just have some earth. And then um, fireball isn't actually... Poison bomb is close. Yeah, I think poison bomb actually will kill it when its turn comes around again. Let me just claw up this dude. Oh, boy. I got embarrassed right there. Okay, it happens. All right, let's go ahead then and... All right, um... Here's what I want to do. Oh, uh, jeez. Hmm. There might have been a better way to do that. Now, to be honest, if they're going to do that, then that's great. Actually, let's do it like this. Let 
Nah, I think I messed that up. Let's just take the guaranteed kill. Alright, here we go. Not my best. But we did get a Grummy Egg and a Kunai, and so we could... And everybody leveled up. We can donate that back at the Monster Sanctuary, so that's good. Alright, I think getting... Actually, you know what? Uh... Actually, I want to check something. Alright, it does tell you right away. Okay. Uh, let's just level up Acid Rain, have that ready. Yeah, let's boost your damage. Crit damage is nice, but let's go ahead and, uh... Yeah, we could boost your hit points, make you strong. You know, I think that these enemy, these guys down here... I could be wrong, but maybe they don't get skill points beyond the original. Maybe they don't get experience, is what I mean to say. Oh, the monk is cool because the monk is like fire, wind, water, and magic. Can do a lot of different types of things. And heal. Yeah, the monk is really good. Very versatile. Need to level it up. Actually, I'm going to level it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the team to put the monk in instead of... Uh, I don't know. Rocky's not that great. So let's do that to get that monk some experience. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Oh boy, I'm not jumping well. There is a, a key up here. A door that I need to open, I believe. Yep. So there'll probably be a champion. This looks like a champion right here, in fact. Alchemist, huh? Who are you then? Or not. It might be dangerous to continue that in this direction... Especially for such a young one. Ha 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 ha. Alright, never mind. Not a champion, just some kind of... That was a strange one. I think I've seen his mask before. But my memory gets a little foggy when I try to remember something from another century. Might be worth investigating. Indeed it might. Thanks for the tip. Oh, here's my buddy again. The... the that's a champion monster. Yeah, it looks like a minotaur. I... I don't think I'm ready for this. I have an idea. I'll stay at a distance to study its behavior. All right. Fine. Um, let me then... Let's give the monk some stuff, right? All right, and then... Alright, now the monk is a lot stronger, and then we can give the monk some uh, food if we have any. Yeah, sure. Alright. If we want to use the monk, I don't even know, but Let's see what you got. So this guy is uh, weak to fire, and he does earth damage, and he's strong against earth attacks. Okay, so we need then... Um, The monk is weak to earth, but does fire. Alright, so we might want to go Tengu.
monk. Yeah, wait, this could be the worst idea. All right, so what we're going to do is be like, hey, I hear you don't like fire. Now... We'll just do physical damage first, and then... Fiery punches. Giving them fiery punches. Nice. And then the fireball. The fireball is good. Full offense is scary. Okay. Alright. Well, this looks like it'll actually hit it. have some nice sustain going on here. Let's go ahead and channel. This will help us all. Although I don't think anybody's low on mana. But maybe. Maybe eventually we'd get low. Oh, Yowie jumped in front to take the damage. Alright, so Yowie. Maybe we should heal Yowie. And the monk's not even that great at healing, but it, it is helpful. And then... Here comes a fireball. Yeah, that crit was real nice. Ow. Boy, that does nearly nothing. I think we should just make sure that we don't die. We've got the... Yeah. I mean, if Tengu wants to just keep critting for a bajillion, we'll take it. Let's heal up Yowie. And then Yowie, can you uh, ice hail? And then fireball. Almost got this guy. Ow. Alright, let's go all out. Did it. Victory. Oh, nice. So we got upgrade material, revival, and... Jeez, that crit ring is sick. Yowie's up. You ascended to Keeper Novice rank. Yes! New items are available at Traders. Dual Circle now available to the Keeper's Tower. Wow. You did it. You're braver than me. Well, I thought I was prepared for it, but once I saw this champion, I felt paralyzed. By the way, did you also meet this suspicious person earlier? I did. You two are still here? Did you find any champion monsters? Yes, Dr. Incompetent just defeated by one by herself. What? You must have confused it with a regular monster. The champion must still be around here somewhere. Uh, what a big-headed guy. Anyway, I'll go back to the keep and try to find something out about the suspicious person we met. Thanks, Will. Meet me at the library in the keeper's stronghold. I will. You beautiful, bespectacled buddy. Well done, Dr. Incompetent. That was your first real challenge as a monster keeper. Who knows what else you're capable of? I mean, it was low level. It wasn't too bad. I even used some people that weren't optimally leveled, skilled, or or equipped, but at the same time, we were able to exploit the weaknesses and do just fine. Alright, gosh, there's all kinds of good stuff to explore here. Let's see if I can get uh, up into this mess over here. Oh, it's Tengu time. I'm just dodging people. I don't know how to get there. I guess again, but I can, oh, I do it like no, not like this, but I do get a cape plus two. God, that's so good. I can have, like, crit special people back at the mountain path. All right. I mean, there's got to be a secret door, but I don't... You know, I don't see it. 
Maybe, maybe from this way you can get around that to that side. Oh yes, we need one of these. Um, this would help us pass through that gate, I think. All right, they are weak to air magic, strong to fire. Okay, so that means that we should choose our monsters. We should use Leia and um, Monk Guy can do air attacks. And uh, so can Vero. All right. Let's give him that. And then lightning punches. And then air sickle. Yep, we can take one down right away. I do enjoy this faster combat speed. It's much harder to read the information. So if the game was like prohibitively difficult in a moment and I needed to read everything, I probably would slow it down. But since I know for the most part what's going on here, um, it's totally fine. Chilling wind. Take all of this. Yeah, we did it. Victory. Hey, we got four stars. We did not capture one, unfortunately. Tengu is up. All right, Tengu. What do we want to do with you? Uh. Yeah, mana rating is fine. Sure. Yeah, we... Oh, interesting. That helps you do a lot more damage. We'll take that. Water slowed us down. Much more than I would expect. Alright, yes. Let's see if this wraps all the way around. Oh, I thought we were going to try to avoid them, but we couldn't. Alright, so we got weak to water, weak to fire, weak to water. I think our regular lineup actually looks great here. Poof. I did not do that right. I thought for some reason that we were going to be able to take out that, t that Tengu in the front. That was a miscalculation. All right, let's do this then the right way. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can do this a little bit faster. Uh, probably not. Alright, well we win. What's it matter? Smoke bomb. Yes, got that monk up. I'm telling you, the monk is really good. Yep, we need the extra attack. That's perfect for doing some more damage. Ah, this is the room. Obtained a pair. And a couple of level badges for us. But I'm telling you, there's got to be... Yes! So this is what um, I think... I can't remember if it was Dragon or if it was Kuro... Or if it was Brain, somebody was telling me about this, about how the secret walls were actually harder to find than expected. And I was like, oh no, they mark them clearly. No, they don't. Not all of them. Look, that was not marked at all, except for the fact that I knew that this was the only way to get to this space. Achievement unlocked. Off the beaten path. Ooh, and you get a great item. There we go. Cool. So, this is a great... I'm saying that word a lot. How about a spectacular part of this game is just that there's 
secrets to their hidden with big payoff treasures. I mean, terrific. So if you go, you know, exploring. Huh, we hit, we're hitting something. Am I hitting you? I don't know what that means. Anyway. Hazelnut. Yeah. Oh, so we're going to need to be able to swim, I suppose. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Look at that. Another secret. Whoa. Fang plus one. Man. Yeah, this is good for healing. Yeah, this is really good. It's slightly less magic and defense, but it just boosts um, crit by 6% in addition to doing a bunch of other cool stuff. So I think it's quite good. Uh, can we make that with the bird? Can you use the bird underwater? Question number one. No. And then... Hmm. Alright, these make it so you can't go down there. Oh, brutal. It's like spaced out perfectly so that you can't get it unless you can deal with uh, swimming in the water, which I can't. It's embarrassing, but I can't. All right. Let's get out of there. What about with the bird? Can I make it across? Oh, I don't even need the bird. We made it. What do we got over here? All right. I really want to capture one of these flyers. All right. So they're weak to air and earth. Uh, we can do air. We can do earth. We just need to change uh, one of our people let's try the monk This combo will definitely take it down. Not the best, but we'll get it done in three turns, I believe. Thing that you don't like that I have? Not really. Well, this you definitely don't want. Alright, fire punches. And then claws. Ooh, the crit. The crit is what changed it. That's why crit is like just in so good in this. It might be my go to ability. Oh, yeah. Skills. Ooh, we got to the next level of stuff. Whoa. 5% crit chance? Jeez. Hits all enemies? Oh, now we're talking. Hits all enemies. 50% chance to apply chill. Double impact is amazing. Ooh, critical damage plus 50%. Man, these abilities are so good. All right, well, we have to just take uh, the stuff that is hitting everybody right now. All 
Oh, cool. Healing wave. Very good. Alright, Blob is coming up gangbusters here. Um, I think we go with healing wave just to be able to heal the whole party. Alright, let's see what we got with uh, this next tier of stuff over here. I think uh, I think we can't not go with this for now, but there's some really good stuff here. Oh, who's this dude? Hello, fellow traveler. Oh, you're a monster keeper, aren't you? How many champion monsters have you bested so far? Three? Not bad. Me? Oh, I have some monsters of my own, all right, but I don't mess with champion monsters. I'm just a wanderer, exploring the different regions of the sanctuary. Sometimes I find some treasure. It's Bex. Tell you what. You keep doing the good work. These crystal shards will come in handy when you're deep in some dungeon. Um, teleports you back to the stronghold. Ooh. Yeah, those will come in handy. Thank you. That's awesome. These are special items. You can use them to return to the teleporter stone in the keeper's stronghold at once. Farewell, then. I wish you the best on your adventure. What a nice guy. Thanks, buddy. All right, so this is a lightning orb. So I need somebody who can interact with uh, lightning orbs. It looks like I don't have that person. I have water orbs, but I don't have air orbs. I do have earth orbs, right? Water, rock, rock, fire, water. No, I don't. I'm in such bad shape. Ooh, that's a champion. If I've seen a champion and a champion. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I haven't been back to the sanctuary in a while. Let's just check it. All right, he's level 10. I mean, we are kind of level 10, so he doesn't like magic. All right. He's strong against physical and poison. Uh, is this the party that we want? I'll try this. All right, so we do magic damage with Ice Hail and Spectral Flame. And then we also do magic damage with Fireball and then Arcane Bolt or Acid Rain. Yeah, let's do uh, Acid Rain debuff. And then we can go ahead and uh, Ice Hail. And I think uh, Fireball is the most damage. We actually Poison Bomb. Look at that. When Poison crits, it is beautiful. Now, he isn't hitting all of us, but we have AoE heal, so we might have to turn that on. And by might, I mean 100%. That's what we gotta do. All right, let's go ahead and try to debuff him. And we're gonna heal with the wave. Whoa, it heals a lot too. And then we'll just poison bomb this guy. Looks like you might not be able to poison him outright. So maybe I want to instead do fireball because it just does more damage. 
All right, I need to heal Blob. And then here's Fireball. All right. I need to heal first. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, we're going to do the wave. And then now we're going to just do Fireball. Barring some malarkey, I think we got this. So... Actually, I think we should attack with everybody. Let's just do this. Oh, yeah. Wrecked it. And we did... We got four stars, too. Yes! Look at this. Scroll plus one. Oof. Impact ring. We got grapes. Phoenix tier. Perfect. And, more importantly, we got another champion monster done. I don't think it's going to raise our rank or anything, but it's still really good. We go to our skills for the monk and just say, fantastic. Monk, let me see what we want to do with you. Yeah, improving your magic is pretty good. This is physical, physical. Actually, no, it's not that great. You do physical for pretty much everything. Here we go. Yeah, do that. Yeah, we. Ooh, yeah, we, yes. Now, it's interesting. I wonder why I can't get down here. Do I really. Like. Oh, because this is the. You have to have. I see. The picture shows you which of the skills in the tree above you have to have. And it's this one. So we need to get this so we can. You know, get the rest of the Yowie's healing stuff. Perfect. All right, let's see what you got. Medallion. I like it. We can see if we can pump that up. We opened it from this side. How terrific is that? Uh, honestly, let's look over here at the map. Why couldn't I go over here before? No, nah, I don't want to fight these cats. What was I missing? Well, that's one thing. Treasure time. Helmet. Nice. Nothing else. Okay. Oh, this is like we need a little person to sneak in there. Don't have that. Fair enough. And, oh. Yeah. I mean, I could fly pretty far, but... Does that kill you? No, it just makes you start back over at the... I didn't think about that until it was too late. And I was like, oh god, if this kills you, then... I'm in very bad shape. Alright, let's look at this. Look at this. Alright, nothing there. Just checking. You know. Alright, perfect. Kitties. No. We say no thank you, kitties. Alright, we can go up here. And looking at the map, there's still a lot of the blue caves that we have yet to do. But I kind of want to go pimp us out at the uh, monster sanctuary. That seems fun. And we can tell everybody about how awesome we feel as novices. I do. Alright, let's donate the Grummy Egg. Yes. We'll hatch and train the monster. So we got 150 gold and antidote and the copper. That's great. Oh, and we get, like, just these Phoenix Tears, which are fantastic. Great. I don't really want to donate a monster right now. Oh, wait a minute. You can see the monster army. I wonder if you can withdraw them at some point. Probably not, but that's really cool. All right. And let me see what new items I can buy down here. So, food guy, what you got? I don't 
don't think they... Maybe they got the apple. Like, maybe that's slightly new, but... It doesn't feel like it's new. Anyway, I'm just buying a few of those. What did you get? Anything new? You got skill resetter. All right. You might have had that all the time. I don't know. Ooh. Hoo-hoo. Wow, look at that. Now, these are some new items for sure. Jeez. Wow. 12%. It's gross. Let me see. What do you have? What do you equip with, Tengu? You have the cape. Five. You have three on the brooch. And then you have six on the feather. But they were selling um, a 12%. Yeah, I mean, the crit ring plus one is better. Yeah. His, the crit chance on Tengu is 29%. I mean, it's just really good. Yeah. I don't think we need this. I think we could do better. Yeah. I mean, this is better. It takes away mana regen and mana, but it gives us a huge boost. Yep, you're going crit stuff too. I like it. Alright, well, that's good for now. Let's go see the blacksmith and see how well we could upgrade some of our stuff. Hello. Yeah, I want to upgrade some stuff. Alright, Cestus plus one. I need iron. I don't have it. Um, I could upgrade the shell. The cape can get upgraded. I suppose we should do it. We can also upgrade the vital ring. No, let's upgrade the cape. Okay, and then... Uh, Anything anybody else is wearing? Mm, not really. Don't need to do it right now. Oh, let me actually check these. Oh, here's the guy. Hey! You've come at just the right moment. I think I found a clue about the masked stranger in the blue caves. My familiar had a vague memory of his mask. Just as you're familiar, I imagine, so I didn't take me too long to find something in the archives. But first off, you know about the old world, right? Uh, yes. Ever since that war, 490 years ago, the humans of the old world have been pursuing ways to explore all the uncharted regions of the earth and to learn all of the secrets of nature. They call it science. However, there was still a great number of alchemists in many centuries of the old world during that time. Alchemy is an ever-changing craft, its results unpredictable and oftentimes dangerous, similar to magic. By 200 AC, alchemy was outlawed in all of the empires of the old world, and even persecuted in some areas. But the oldest order of alchemists remained, and they fled to the monster sanctuary. In secret. Oh, there's a connection. That's all I found in these archives. In the books here, there's nothing written about what happened after the alchemists came to the sanctuary. That's really odd, don't you think? It is. There's supposed to be more books somewhere in the Stronghold Dungeon, which is east of the Keeper's Stronghold. We've got to do the Keeper Battle Training before we can go there, though. The Keeper Battle Trainer, trainer uh, is in the Keeper's Tower, just above this room. I'll go ahead. Alright, he's going ahead. Good work. Awesome. Well, everybody, how exciting is this? We've got all kinds of new stuff to do. We've got... Um, we, we ranked up, and we've beat two more champion monsters. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good, and I can't wait to explore more of this fantastic game. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. And I'll check you guys next time, and let's play Monster Sanctuary. Take care.